Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Lily. Go ahead, like and subscribe if you would like to. Now, <laughs> today, today, ah, there's a lot of things happening. Um, but today we're going to be unboxing this month's glossy box, but it's technically going to be last month's glossy box because I think this video is going up in July. So it's the June glossy box we're unboxing. I've had this for like two weeks and this should have been up two weeks ago, but I've recently started a new job. And honestly, I just haven't had the mental capacity to kind of sit down and film. So apologies, I'm going to be filming three videos now in a row while also rushing to get ready for an appointment that I have later tonight because that's just who I am as a person. We love that. Also, my background's a little lopsided because this mirror just fell off. Um, it didn't break. It was this one. And it just it just fell off the hook. So yeah, the wallpaper's a bit ripped. You can't see it, thankfully. You can't see it. It's a bit higher up, but it's a little bit ripped. Um, so yeah, this video might be a little bit chaotic. If you are new here and this is your first video of watching of me, um, I'm normally not as... Well, no, I'm pretty much always chaotic, but I have plenty of other videos on my channel if you want to go check them out, if you want to be a bit more chill. I always do an unboxing of this every month. I've been getting it for like five years. Yeah, so let's take a breath and get into it. <laughs> so this is this month's box. It's been sat on my desk for a couple of weeks, so it has fake eyelashes on it. So I went out um, the other night. So, love that. But yeah, this is the box, normal pink box. They sometimes have themes to them. There's always a theme for the inside of the box and normally everything kind of correlates to it. So that's quite fun. Now, they've kind of changed it a bit. I think they've changed who like the beauty editor is. So things are a little bit different, but you get a card, which is kind of more like a magazine now, but it basically tells you everything that's in here, what it retails for, what you can use it for. And then on the back, it gives you a sneak peek of next month. And then it just, tells you bits and bobs about sneak stuff you can win um glossy skincare and all that but this month's theme i think is dreaming of paradise so we've got five products in here so hey glossies summer requires beauty products that can effortlessly effortlessly take you from pool to party so we've made sure our june dreaming of paradise glossy box features just that Inside this month's box, you'll discover all you could need to look and feel gorgeous, whatever the sunny days have you doing. Love, Emily, the beauty editor. Yeah, they've changed. The beauty editor's a different person, so I think that's why certain things have changed. So, we'll go through this. I do know there is a sweet treat in here because my mum gets this, and obviously she opened hers like two weeks ago. So, um, this is the inside. You get like tissue paper, a nice little ribbon. The ribbons are cute because you can kind of reuse them or do whatever you want with them. This is a Kind bar, um, dark chocolate, nuts and sea salt. And I had um, the one that mum had in her box. I had it because it's not vegan and my mum's vegan. So obviously she can't eat it. Um, but I had it and it was very, very nice. Um, yeah, so 60% nuts, gluten free, high in fibre. Just a nice little chocolate bar in there. It's a really good size as well. I think it's just nice sometimes, just that little extra thing that you're not expecting can make it just a little bit better. So we're gonna go in order. So the first thing we have in here is from the brand, the, Bru the Beauty Crop. We get stuff from the Beauty Crop quite a lot. Um, but this is, this is, this is cute. Look how cute this packaging is. So it's called We Shuri. Um, Don't bash my pronunciation, please. Um, yeah, so this is a lip oil. I think it's in the shade Sacre Bleu. Again, don't bash my pronunciation, please. Um, so this has like cherries on the packaging and everything. This is really, really cute. This is full size and this retails for £13. So you've got your money back off the box there already, just on the one item. I know I always say it's really good value for money. Even if you're not keen on the stuff, you're not wasting money because literally most of the time one item is what you pay for the box. So money wise, it's really good if you want to try new stuff out. This oh my god this is so like aesthetically pleasing to look at so it's like a clear lip gloss um clear plastic lip gloss tube and the lid is like a really cute blue color with red metallic cherries all on it it's a hydrating lip oil it is cruelty free and vegan so for gorgeously kissable lips look no further this non-sticky moisture rich lip treatment will gloriously enhance your pout's natural color while making your lips super smooth Enriched with a love, with a lip loving cherry oil blend, your lips are sure to be kept unbelievably soft and nourished day to night. 
let's pop some on then. No, it smells nicer than cherries. I'm not a fan of cherry smell. It smells quite, it's not overpowering. It's like a nice sweet type of smell. And on the brush, so in the tube it's clear, but on the brush, it's got like a red tinge to it. So I'm gonna put some on my lips. Ooh. Oh my God. Can you see, I don't know if you can see the difference, like the color has slightly changed my bottom lip color. It has literally just done what it says, it's, it's just enhanced it. Oh my God. What? It's literally just enhanced my natural lip color. I don't know what you do with it. Do you wear it like, so it's a lip treatment. So I think you just wear it because it kind of looks a bit glossy, but it literally feels like I've just put lip balm on. Oh my God, that is so nice. It feels really nice and comfortable. Um, you probably can't see because my lighting is trash, but <laughs> that's really cute. You know, because I, I like having glossy lips, but I don't like lip gloss because I don't like having sticky lips. Cute, okay. So next up we have a Nip and Fab product. Now this is full size and I'm really excited about this. This is a vitamin C scrub. Um, so vitamin C scrub fix. Uh, Nip and Fab packaging is always really cute, super vibrant. So you've got like a bright orange tube with like a pink lid, kind of neon, kind of loving it. So energizing and illuminating, this exfoliating scrub is infused with vitamin C, coffee seed extract and coconut oil to effectively cleanse, nourish and renew your skin. These key ingredients also aid in reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and softening your complexion. So gently massage on damp skin, rinse with water. So yeah, it's just, it's a scrub, it's a face scrub. Face scrubs I wouldn't use every day because they can be quite harsh, so maybe a couple times a week. Um, unless you have the type of skin where, I can't remember what type of skin, but sometimes there's a certain skin type that literally needs a scrub like every day. But obviously just be careful if you've got sensitive skin, if you've got sensitive skin, you don't want to be doing an exfoliant scrub all the time. Now this retails for £12.95, so we've got double the box price right here. Actually, this doesn't look very scrub-esque, so it's like yellow. It smells like really nice skincare. You know, when you just get it's quite fruity, quite fruity and fresh. That is, that smells quite nice and doesn't look like too harsh as well. So that'll be good if your skin's on the little bit more sensitive side. Right, next up we have this is full size. Oh, we have a body oil. So this is from the brand Mitchell and Peach. We get Mitchell and Peach mini fragrances sometimes. Um, so this is English Leaf body oil. This is fifty ml. Um, the Nip and Fab scrub was 75 ml, so decent size. Containing almond oil and vitamin E, this nourishing body oil leaves skin feeling soft and scented. Reminiscent of freshly cut meadow grass. Ooh, this oil is fragranced with English leaf, a blend of soft citruses, coriander leaves, basil mint and floral oils from Mitchell Estate. From the Mitchell Estate. I'm not a fan of freshly cut grass. I don't like, not a fan of it. Um, so, so what do you do? Just a body oil. So I'm guessing you can apply a small quantity to skin and gently massage. Body oils are good if you want, if you've got super dry skin, because oils can be more moisturizing than like a normal moisturizer. So yeah, they can be quite good. So you can use it on like elbows, dry patches, or just cover yourself in it really. It's not actually that scented. I mean, there's a scent there. It's a bit dangerous though, that that's a very big space to pour. I kind of wish it would come with like a nozzle or something. So I'm just gonna put it on my hands. Ooh, I literally put like the bare minimum on. Minimum, Min minimum. <laughs> I think a little goes a long way with this. You know what? Oh, I can get the freshly cut grass, but it smell, it doesn't smell like freshly cut grass. It smells more like when you're just in like a field and you can kind of just smell the grass <laughs> and then it's also quite citrusy so yeah i'm not the biggest fan of oils um but i will try them on like my knees and stuff <laughs> like my elbows 
but yeah I'm just no it's not very overpowering at all it's kind of like barely there but I guess if you move probably get like a, a whiff whiff waft yeah okay this retails for 23 pounds love that the next thing is again is this full size this is a deluxe mini um this is from the brand ryman p20 now this is a seriously reliable sunscreen so this is spf 30 um durable up to 10 hours highly water resistant unique lightweight formula this is 40 ml so we've got some sun cream very it literally literally sounds like water um so soak up the sun and stay safe this triple protection sun cream provides 10 hours of protection from just one application that's actually really good even if you're dipping in and out of a pool thanks to its long lasting uva and uvb filters it helps protect against burning and the premature signs of aging while its lightweight consistency ensures an even coverage that's quickly absorbed so this deluxe mini retails for £5.99 the full size 200 ml which is huge retails for £24.99 that's not too bad so let's see if it, how it ah uh, yes we got a spray I'm not going to use it because I don't want to spray I don't want to spray it all over my desk but um sunscreen I mean it's clever because it's June and it's getting into summer so and it's a nifty size to put in your bag so I don't mind that I don't <laughs> I don't really wear sunscreen I wear sunscreen in I put sunscreen on in the morning when I do like my face routine um my moisturizers have like SPF in and I have a facial sunscreen as well but I don't really use it on me or anything else unless I'm on holiday which I know is bad because you still can get affected by the sun and everything in the UK um <laughs> yeah wear wear your sunscreen you know wear your sunscreen um last thing in here I'm really excited about because I really love this it's my one of my favorite um dry shampoos so this is from the brand Batiste this is a deluxe mini and this is a dry shampoo in blush flirty floral I really like this um dry shampoo I've been using this for like years and years uh so this is 50 ml perfect handbag size I always like to have one of these in my bag and I haven't had one in my bag for ages so this is really handy so this is dry shampoo blush um so that's like the scent of it so a burst from this can of magic removes oil effectively to leave the tresses feeling fabulous with an aroma of romantic rose notes and flirty feminine scents of lily peony and freesia this blush dry shampoo will give your hair a new lease of life between washes this deluxe mini retails for one pound 60 love the full size 200 ml retails for two pound 99 cheap and cheerful we love it so spray 12 inches away from your tresses and tease with fingers for an invisible finish so what i like to do give it a good shake and then spray it onto your roots and i get greasy on the underside of my hair it's really weird um so i'll kind of spray it on there and then just like massage it in really yeah um it does leave it can leave a white looking residue on your hair but as long as you massage that in it'll disappear so just give it a good, you know, or brush it through and you'll be fine. You are meant to brush dry shampoo through and I don't think many people do. I think they just spray it on and leave it. That can kind of cause your hair to get, and scalp to get a bit dry and maybe cause dandruff. Because um, I had that problem before and I was like, why is my scalp so dry? Realised I wasn't using my dry shampoo properly and it had all kind of clogged my pores up. So yeah, when you wash your hair after using it, make sure you get into your scalp and get it all out. PSA um <laughs> so that's everything in this month's glossy box um i'm really happy with this month it fits with the summer theme it's very pool party kind of vibes and dreaming of paradise you know we've got the lip oil we've got the spf perfect bag essentials body oil i really like that yeah i'm really happy with everything um i'll put a link below if you want to, uh, you can get 20% off your first order if you use my code. It's not an affiliate code or anything. It's just because I'm a member. It's a member referral code. So if you haven't bought this and you would like to try it, you can get 20% off with my link. I think my favourite thing is probably the lip oil just because of the packaging. Honestly, I'm a sucker for pretty packaging and it still feels super hydrating on my lips.
yeah really love that so if you want to see like more photos of these there'll be a picture on my instagram a link will be down below but yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video um we got a little less chaotic near the end i think i think i'm getting a bit more chill now so yeah thanks again for watching um don't forget to like and subscribe only if you want to but yeah i hope you enjoy the rest of your day your evening whatever you're doing and i'll see you in my next video